Good morning, everyone. It's Lee Henson, president and founder of Agile Dad, and it's time for today's episode of The Daily Stand-Up. So without any further ado, let's get started. It is Monday, kicking off a brand new week. Lots of exciting things we want to talk about this week, but I want to start off with a topic that came from one of my students in last week's class. So last week, we were teaching a certified Scrum Master class, a public one, and it went amazing. We had, we had 14 very engaged students, and it was just a really, really uplifting class. Every now and then you get one of those classes that just really drives you and motivates you. This was the one. This was a really good one. And one of my students named Charity, we were talking about uh, one of the key takeaways from class again. And this takeaway, it made me stop and ponder. She mentioned, quote, the one thing that I really took away from this is that product ownership is incredibly important because when, whether you're talking about leadership or whether you're talking about directors or whether you're talking about teams, whether you're talking about product owners, when you say yes to something, in essence, you're saying no to something else. And I had to stop and think about that. But wow, that's wisdom. So I'm going to say it again. Saying yes to something means you're saying no to something else. Charity, I love it. So basically, what she was trying to encapsulate is that too often, let's just take it from a leadership perspective. When we say yes, we're going to take on more projects or additional work. Or additional work. But when we say yes, that we're going to take on additional teams or additional structure, or when we say yes, that we're going to uh, commit to doing some things, that means in essence that we're mapping out that time and we're mapping out those people and we're, we are saying no to something else that could be potentially valuable. So I guess one of the big concepts or takeaways or ahas from this was that anytime we say yes to something, it comes time for a retrospective or it comes time for an introspective where we look back and say, was that yes the most valuable yes? And what are we saying no to? What are we sacrificing to get there? And I think this is most easily understood from product ownership. Now, I had an experience recently with a couple of product owners from Apple. And what they were telling me is that it's easy for them to say yes to the right things because they say no to so many things. So I'm going to say that again. It was easy for them to say yes to the right thing because they say no to so many things. And I sat and thought about that. And I said, man, I said, how easy would it be for us to really dig in and say no when we needed to? Uh, if we knew we were saying yes to the right thing. So I guess that begged the question, how do we get to the point as an organization, as a product owner, as a scrum master, as a team member, that we know we're saying yes to the right things? And I think there has to be some steps that you have to take to get there. I know, for example, in training, when I'm building training modules, one of the things that they teach us is to use something called the ADDIE method or A-D-D-I-E, where you analyze right? Design, develop, implement, and evaluate. So when you analyze, I guess it's a quick analysis of what you're saying yes to, to make sure it's something not only that you can do, but that you want to do. Uh, when you get into design, this is where you're focusing on the bigger picture. What is it you're trying to do and making sure you have your head around exactly what the other person is asking for. Develop is when you go through the, the build process of building out whatever features or, uh, work items you need to do. Implement is when you actually implement it and uh, get it out to your end consumer. This is the release cycle. And then finally evaluate. So I guess what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is that Addy, Analyze, Design, Develop, Implement, Evaluate, maps pretty clearly to the Agile framework. If you come in with the understanding that every time you say yes to something that you are saying no to something else, and I don't think it needs to be heavy weight. I think it can be something that's lightweight. I think it could be a lightweight evaluation. I think it could be just a quick assessment. I don't think you have to go through and do a broad financial and risk analysis and assessment of everything that you're doing. But I think that it is important from an agile perspective that we at least focus on those things and at least get to the point where we, where we can be masterful about what we're trying to achieve and where we can say we have a full understanding. Uh, and it reminds me, I know this sounds silly, but it reminds me of the television show, Say Yes to the Dress. Uh, when those young women say yes to something, that means they're saying no to every other potential dress out there. And I know how hard it is when you're making a critical decision, something that could impact the future of your company or the future of your product or service. I realize that it's really hard to say no. But I also realize that when you say yes to something that you're positive about or that helps you feel good or that builds you up, that it's going to help you understand that what you're saying no to is totally okay. But if you feel in your gut 
that it's not that saying yes to this is going to slow you down or stop you from doing something that's potentially going to help you then saying no is the right answer and i've seen many episodes of that show where where the bride you know wants to say yes to a specific dress but they know maybe that their mother you know wouldn't approve it or that one of their friends says it's not the right one or whatever the case may be and it comes down to if they say yes to it because it's what's best for them then it's the right fit but if they say no they have to suffer the consequences and go through and try to find another dress that they like equally if not better but the good news is just like in a show where you can always go back to the dress you came from in most cases you can always shift back with your agile thought process as well so i guess what i'm trying to say is when it comes to product ownership and when it comes to being a strong team member, recognize that saying yes is a powerful tool, but saying no is an even more powerful tool. And the ability to say no is something that should never go underrated. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope that gave you some guidance. As always, we encourage you to uh, tune in to AgileDad.com where you can learn more about this topic and plenty of others. We've got lots of good stuff out there. We're coming up on 300 episodes of the Daily Stand-Up Podcast. How exciting is that? Uh, we'd love to have you with us when we celebrate our 300th episode. We're not too far away. But until then, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.